Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy, what are you guys yeah. thankful for? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. You gotta pick a character. Well, I, I'm in charge of the lobby wow. for the first time in my young adult life, okay? Wait, did you just Nick Weirds game us? Yeah, no, we're gonna, I, we're gonna Ryan's no, no. Funhouse no, right now? No, there's no Ryan's Funhouse. Ryan's Funhouse oh, right. is is vanilla. <laughs> but Ryan's Funhouse fun. should be, you know, just your Planet Coaster Park. We should just be able to put That's traps in there. Oh, classic oh, rookie host mistake. Didn't we're take on it to five. 10 points. Oh, I didn't even know you could do oh. that. My God! I bought Ultimate Chicken Horse, and all the randoms online are horrible. They're always blocking bows and stammers. Oh. Yeah, there's like a whole like competitive meta that we've never touched, like getting oh. ahead by one point and then just deliberately blocking the exit. That's no fun. Who would do that? Eat white meat or dark meat? What do you go for? You go both. It's good. Go both. White meat. Why? Yeah, why meat. white meat? I just yeah, what's uh, it goes I with like the gravy it. best. Yeah, what are you a raisin? Raisin? You, get raisin? <laughs> you get raisin? What are you, what are you some kind of raisin, dude? <laughs> that yeah, sounds like, like that sounds offensive. It does. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what it is. Like you're an old wrinkled up purple man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. I used to be like a white meat exclusively kind of guy. Now I like to get like a little piece of each. Yeah, dude. You always gotta. Cause like you you have turkey so rarely, I think to just There's deny yourself one entire color of meat is not okay. Exactly, dude. You gotta have a little bit of both. Plus the white meat's good for the gravy. The dark meat's good for the succulentness, <laughs> which is which is oh, beautiful. Like that. The <laughs> succulentness. Ooh. The succulentness. Murph. Oh, hey hey, hey. Malfi man, put that coin right here. Like I, right see. Over here. I see. No, fuck that, you pussy. <laughs> Wow. Okay, oh, you know what? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Oh, oh no! What oh! did NL eat for Thanksgiving when he was a vegetarian? I was only vegetarian for one Canadian Thanksgiving, wow. and I kid you not, I had samosas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got some samosas at the grocery store and then just cooked them in the toaster oven at the Thanksgiving dinner. And I was like, don't worry about me, I'm just having my samosas. That's depressing. That is the samosas were pretty depressing. good, but I, they weren't as good as the turkey, I'll be honest with you. Why don't you just order samosas if you're gonna fucking get them at the grocery store? Because I grew up in a town as like freaking, you know, Fox, I'm going to Yarker to go to Thanksgiving. Let's go to Yarker's <laughs> best samosa place, it's the convenience store. What the fuck is a Yarker? That's a Yarker's town. Yarker's the name of a place. It's well, it's you, a village. You can't really call it. Yeah. It sounds it's like a Canadian wild name. beast. <laughs> <laughs> There's some Canadian wild beast there, to be honest with you. But <laughs> really, what do you guys have for uh, for th Canadian Thanksgiving? We it's like pretty standard. You know, I won't speak for Fox, but we have uh, turkey, mashed potatoes, maybe sweet potatoes, um, nice. stuffing, cranberry okay. sauce, and then like. Then it gets a little, you know, into whatever you want. You might have green beans. You might have some, you right. know, corn. Oh, what about yeah. cream spinach? I've never uh, seen it, no. but I wouldn't be surprised, I guess. What else? Oh, rolls. But oh, everybody yeah. forgets the rolls. That's like they're left in the microwave or the oven or wherever. So by the time you're halfway through the meal, you're like, oh, we've got the fucking rolls, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, a variety of desserts that were picked up at the Dairy Queen. You guys do the candied yams? I don't. I don't want to no. talk to you about candied yams. They're so <laughs> good. We've had this discussion already. They're so good. You know what my grandmother did one Thanksgiving, which was hilarious. Uh, Thanksgiving, we were, which was hilarious. We were we were having dessert, and we were like, "Man, this pumpkin pie!" Like we didn't want to like say anything bad about it because right. our grandmother. It's like she used we, the it, salt it was, instead of the sugar. She didn't use any sugar. No. Oh. It was a sugarless sugar. pumpkin pie. Dude, oh, that sounds awful. It was awful, but everyone had a good laugh about it. You guys it. ever have the, the, the toasted uh, pumpkin seeds and guts? Yeah, man. Yeah, that shit's it's good. Dope. That's a Halloween food in Canada, though. I'm not even fucking yeah. with you. No, 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 it is, it is here too, actually. I'm trying to think like if we have any Canadian weirdness. Oh, oh no, so oh. bad. Uh, for for Thanksgiving, like, Fox, do your, do your parents, like, uh, they put out, like, a weird tray of cheeses and it's pickles. It's not weird, that's the best part. <laughs> no, I always have like one piece of cheese and then the rest God. of it just gets thrown in the trash. That's sacrilege. I, okay, we <laughs> get sacrilege. a platter always. He gets uh, pickles, cheese, and olives. And like, I load up 
And my thing is, I put a blanket of gravy over the entire that's plate. That's disgusting, oh, man. Oh, that Cheese sounds included. Gross. You have, like, no, gravy no, no. pickles. I'm no, I was going to say, good. like, that sounded good, but until you put the gravy on top. that no, that's trust me. Well. Try it. Try it. You I'm not going to put gravy on my pickles. I'm not gravying my pigs. You, as well. you maybe should, though. I don't think I'm going to. American gravy kind of creeps me out. Why is it so light? What do you mean, why is it so light? Uh, are they talking about the white gravy? Are talking that's, about white gra country gravy? That's awesome. That's oh, yeah, Austin that's territory. That's, uh, what I do you don't call like that? country like, uh, gravy that much. I like. I, I prefer brown gravy. I've never had yeah. country gravy. I think it's good, but like it's it's right. only it's on good. fried chicken. It's, it's very peppery. It's good. I don't follow a lot of the southern stereotypes that I should. Like, I'm not a huge fan of barbecue. Dude, you're just wrong, honestly. <laughs> uh, I've had too much of it, man. I have it all the fucking time, and it gets old. Well, we've discussed. I we've discussed it before, but I still don't understand like. American barbecue chains where like or not chains just restaurants where when you like order the barbecue they give you six slices of white bread I don't yeah. it just doesn't make sense to me Why you that's, need that much bread and why that kind of bread? That's the super south thing like but that's what they, they, they give you that with spicy food, right? Like that's the thing What's I think that? They give it, the, the when you give the, they give like they put everything on a bed of just wonder bread <laughs> I don't know. I don't, this doesn't sound familiar to me they do that in the South yeah. a lot. Maybe not in Texas as much. I don't know. My, my South experience is muddled by the fact that I live in the city for so long, so... Mm. You're not you supposed to eat the bread? What the fuck are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> You're not oh, supposed you to eat the sauce? bread? You gotta eat the bread. That's where all the flavor is. Yeah, those are, those are the napkins, right? Like, you only eat yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you. Do they... do? Well, okay, so if chat knows, do you, do you eat it with the, with the non-pot foods as well? Oh, shit. What do you, oh, mean? What do you mean by that? Well, you eat it with like the sweet, tangy barbecue sauce, or like you, what do you, you just what do you dip eat the bread with? in the barbecue sauce? I mean, that sounds pretty gross, Delicious. to be honest. I'm not into that. Well, someone from the UK was asking. They're like, "Is it true that in the US, a waiter will clean your plate as soon as it's done without waiting for everybody else to finish?" Not necessarily. I mean, if they like come by, they will. But, yeah, like, not not always, but they'll come around and be like, "Hey, can I take this away for you?" And I'll be like, "Yeah." Yeah. yeah. What do I yeah, want this empty plate in front of me for? Doesn't make it normal. Yeah, it's. I did see some people in chat being like, you know, that's the rudest thing I've ever heard. What? Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Are you? What savages? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> maybe if they took it away without asking, even if it looks like you're done, maybe you want you want the the scraps or something. But like, what are people so rude? They're not, they're not just gonna come in and just like grab your fucking dishes. No, I, I've had that anything. happen before. And really? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yo, those three fries are getting finished. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just like come here and be like, just give me that plate. They don't just take it from you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, you done with that? And it's like, you know, no, I'm still eating. It's like, oh, okay. Oh. oh, that kills me. All right. You wait until everyone is done, so nobody feels uncomfortable. I don't Why know. Do you feel like uncomfortable? Yeah, you're just you're eating. It takes as long as it takes. That yeah. sounds like a thing that like makes no sense, but like is a social stigma. Yeah, it's, I mean, reason. we have the same. We've probably got stuff like that over here that I just don't think of on a daily basis. But don't do that. It makes other people feel rushed. <laughs> Well, well, why? Why? Like, why? You take as long why? as you need to eat, man. Why? Yeah. Well, why? It's why? North America. We're <laughs> we're all about <laughs> we're all about eating whatever you want, regardless of you know whether or not it's good for you or good for the people around you. You know? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I'm I'm actually like I, I do always feel rushed whenever I eat out with friends anyway, because I am a very I'm a typically slow eater. Mm -hmm. Um. In fact, that was probably common at PAX, eating with you guys. Hey, hey, oh, no, that's bad. Oh, I can't I, remember, but I'm used to it because Kate is a slow eater as well. So I, oh, yeah. I think I eat way too fast. I'm no, done. I'm done with any meal in like five minutes. Mm. Even even like Thanksgiving, I'll, I'll have that plate done in like five minutes. What does this mean? Dude. In the UK, you're not allowed to eat if someone sneezes before all the food has arrived. What does that even mean? What? What? That That's doesn't a, sound like a real that, sentence. I, I'm. It's just on the borderline of me accepting it as plausible. I need to know. <laughs> is it? Is it like the sneeze goblins are gonna come eat your food for you if you don't do it or something? Like what's gonna happen? <laughs> sneeze goblins. That's true. No, delusions of grandpa said I made it up. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. But like, oh. I mean, we. Do, how do you guys deal with the rule of like? Uh, you know, you don't start eating before everybody's food has arrived. How do you feel about that? 
Oh yeah, you I don't start eating. Yeah, yeah. come on. No. If, it, if it gets ridiculous, the person will say, "All right, you can eat." Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, like, yeah. You wait. For some reason, I have this weird thing when I go out for meals. Like a lot of the time, something bad will happen to my food, or I'll be the last one to get it. So, I wow. just I make sure people just go ahead and eat. I don't really mind. Like, I had this uh, one time. These guys gave me a fucking basic chicken sandwich and they didn't cook it like it was pink yeah so like i took a couple bites just to make sure <laughs> and then i had to wait like 20 minutes for the guy to come back and it was at our lunch break during work too and by the, t the time the guy actually came back to our table just to see how the meal was everybody was done i was like yo it's not cooked yeah and so they're like okay well, we'll bring you another it's like well i don't trust you anymore so no i don't <laughs> want one plus i don't have time you know it's lunch hour not lunch afternoon so i'll <laughs> just like all right we'll hear we'll give you some like a large fry and a and a, another coke and then i got my whole meal free but wow you know, it's like nah nah man i mean if, the, if you're going to a restaurant and the food comes out staggered anyway and it's not steven stamkos delivering it then you know <laughs> but it's like i feel like that if i'm at a fancy restaurant all the entrees should come out at the same time exactly but if i'm going to like like a you know, eight dollar a plate, like you know, Bulgarian stir fry place or something like that. And I'm like, you know what? If if Kate's food is ready like five minutes before mine, I understand why you would bring it out. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, any well, place yeah. worth its salt will generally, you know, try to bring everything out at the same time. Um, yeah. Unless I'm die. Oh no. If you go to a Pizza Hut, somebody orders a personal pizza and then three other people want like a large meat lovers. I'm not salty if the personal pizza comes out, you know, two minutes faster. You can get like half and half though. You you could get half and half. You know. But maybe You're they just get like half the way and half on your pizza? That sounds pretty gross. What? Oh I see, cream. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's the cream. Yeah. I get it. But this, those... this conversation has taken a lot of turns from like <laughs> etiquette to like what we want on our pizzas. I'm really confused. <laughs> I want to learn more about UK you know manners, fun. man. It's like going to another planet where, like, you know, aliens seeded humanity. And then we meet the aliens and we're like, we're exactly the same, except what are you talking about? They don't clear your plates when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's weird is this is something, I don't know, I don't, maybe this is common where you guys are as well. I, I'm, not, I'm not actually sure. But, like, in, in, like, certain places in the U.S., there are, like, fast food joints yes where you Mac don't mcdonald's well no like 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 something like a um i don't know like a <laughs> like a noodles and company say yeah <laughs> yeah um and uh sorry um and uh you're supposed to leave your dish there but it looks like a fast food place but you're supposed to leave your dish and they Someone come comes take it around. out yeah but that's is that like we like it feels very weird to me in a fast food place that I don't have to take my dish out and I almost always take it out anyway, even though I'm not supposed to. What kind of dishes? It's just like wow. disposable dishes. No, no. I mean, they, it's actually like their plates. Uh, at least at that place it was, but but some places it is disposable dishes. I mean, if they were if they're plates, then I'm like, I can't Fucking believe right? he's done it. If they're plates, then I'm like, yeah, someone will probably come around and clean these. Mm. Most of the time. But if, if it's disposable, I'm like, yeah, that's on me. But it's like it's a fast food place, you know? Like, if it's a fast food, it's just like... You know, if I'm not sitting at a restaurant, I feel like it's only... Like, I'm gonna be really rude if I don't. Nah, no, I'm I'm with you, Rob. I'm with you, Robbie. <laughs> right? It's just like, yeah. It's 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 weird. It's like, I, I don't know. I just feel... Yeah, I feel lazy for not picking up the plate. And it's like, yeah, there, exactly. if it's a big line or something like that, and there's people kind of waiting for a table and shit, it's like... Wow. What if they, the servers or whatever, don't get to it in time, and then this other person's got to navigate with their fresh fresh and hot meal to the table. Yeah! And then move your meal, and then there's like maybe a little squirts of ketchup or mayo on the table, and then just like, oh. <laughs> I'm also one of those who like, if I, if I like spill something on the floor, like even in a restaurant, I'm cleaning that shit up myself. Yeah, Dude, yeah. I... I was in Starbucks a couple days ago, and I picked up the cup, and a little coffee spilled out. And then I, I got a napkin, and I cleaned it up, and the dude next to me was looking at me like, with his eyes wider than I've ever seen a person's <laughs> eyes get in my entire life. I had to, like, read his, his mind. It was like, you know, they pay people to do that. 
Wow. <laughs> That's a wow moment for sure. That yeah. is a wow. Well, here's another one Chad brought up. If you guys are riding the bus, do you say, like, thank you to the bus driver when you get oh, off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. man. Every just, time. In Canada, that's extremely common. I didn't know. I've ridden a bus before. Like, it's what? Now, that's super American. Dude, you're, yeah. missing, you're missing out on uh, a big, like, cross-section of life. The bus well, like, or any public... the school bus, but... No, no, like, the city bus or the subway, that's where you experience real life. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's like one bus chain in all of Houston, though, and like well, that's true. it goes we, to like four stops. <laughs> back in uh, in in university, right? We in my planning classes, you know, transportation and all that shit was a big topic. And Texas, uh, a lot of the cities in Texas came up often. It's just like if you don't have a car, you're fucked. They're not. <laughs> a lot of cities aren't very walkable, and public transit isn't isn't uh, necessarily. Uh, standard thing so i feel i kind of feel bad for you guys mm. oh no no that's right no i've been on the bus once it was in vegas, it, it, the bus <laughs> really, in vegas. really you've been on <laughs> was... one bus in your life yeah really? vegas was, was it a bus, bus or is that like a shuttle to take you it was yeah. a shuttle that's not a bus yeah, that's, that's not, not a bus a, no. as, if everybody uh, on the vehicle is on vacation that's not a true bus because it's a, yeah everybody on there has like a different mentality it's like they're away from work they're away from their everyday life so it's like they're kind of excited you get on a normal bus at six in the morning, and people <laughs> are gone. And now I'm sleeping. yawning. Wipe the yeah, sleep okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I know Ryan will have probably have some good stories, but what's your weirdest uh, or like maybe grossest thing you've seen on public transit? Well, I, I mean, okay, yeah, you go first. The time it's not gross necessarily, but the time that dude called me a, a pejorative for a gay person. Because I was wow. sitting, because I was sitting in the disabled seats, even though there were like fifteen wow. disabled seats. Oh open. yeah, yeah. That that was a wild one. I, a lot of like anti-gay stuff, actually. Weirdly enough, like, there was another time there was like a homeless person on the bus. He was just calling everybody the the pejorative for gays, and we're like, dude, we're sitting with ladies. You're the weirdo who's sitting up there touching himself at the front of the bus, like. <laughs> I think, do you was he touching see? himself? Oh, well, they're the always too. touching themselves. That's that's another part of the bus. You gotta you that... touch yourself on the bus. Yeah, you do touch yourself on the bus sometimes. We had a this is a school bus story, but we were going on a field trip, and literally within like ten minutes of leaving, it was like two hour drive for the field trip. Uh, the kid like in the back of the bus just like he throws up everywhere like he just sprays it into the alley and it go it, and literally for the next like two hours we had to smell that shit yeah. for the rest of the ride uh, oh that's awful it was the worst did you kill him to death <laughs> yeah we threw him out of the bag of the bus <laughs> yeah that's I, what i actually heard uh when we were talking about saying thank you to the bus driver somebody was like but you exit from the back of the bus and i started thinking about like a school bus you like Unhinge yeah. the entire back door and jump out whenever you get off. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my brain! Actually, my friend was an idiot in uh, elementary school. I've got a school bus story here, if you want. Okay, do uh, So, like, he uh, he wanted to, like, impress a girl on, like, the last day of elementary school. Oh, this and is I a great way to start the story. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, what his plan was to impress this, uh, this lady was to um, get on his skateboard... And <laughs> as we were going to school, uh, ride um, ride uh, his skateboard uh, holding on to the back of the bus. Um, oh, no. He lasted a whole of maybe like 30 uh, seconds. That's and pretty then, good. Uh, yeah, and then he, oh god. And then uh, he just like fucking ate it. <laughs> oh. like, <laughs> he was like all torn up and shredded, man. <laughs> yeah. But nice. I mean, in a way, that's kind of impressive. I mean, it is, yeah. I don't even know if the girl was on the bus that day, but... Uh, <laughs> well, how could he check, you know. right? This one time a few years ago, this late... I used to take the the GO train, which is like a commuter train between uh, cities in the greater Toronto area. Oh. And this... It wasn't, like, busy or anything, um, but this lady was sitting there with her, like her legs up on the seat across from her <laughs> and Ooh. she was clipping her toenails pretty good oh. and like i was like really you thought that was the best place to do this like her toenail <laughs> clippings are obviously like flying all over the place and i'm just oh. like it's like there's kind of yeah, she was like middle aged. She wasn't like a nasty looking. Like she looked clean. I, I mean, 
I guess you, you know. She looked clean. That's pretty I was just disgusting. like, really? You can't do that at home? Like, this has got to be some kind of health violation. We used to have to take the bus from, like, the big university in Vancouver back to uh, our uh, where our apartment was at, like, 10 p.m. on a Friday. And it was, like, people open containers, like, slamming shots on the bus and, you know, like, water bottles full of, like, grape Kool-Aid and vodka. And I'm like, man, yeah. that's, that's 10 p.m. At 1 a.m., that bus is going to be a fucking war zone. Yeah, that was, like, the pizza place at my uh, college campus. That was hell. Yeah, well, I am drinking the world's top-rated uh, whiskey. Really? Right now. Yeah. Canada, or uh, mm. Crown Royale, whatever it's called. Yeah, Northern Harvest Northern Rye. Northern Harvest Rye. Oh. I mean, we've already got the best actors and the best musicians, so wow. we took whiskey last year, so I'm just wondering what Canada's going to do next. Did you take whiskey last year? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, well, it was yeah. an elective, but... I, I think I, I dabbled at least. <laughs> on, a, on a shuttle trip in Vegas, I forgot about this. Uh, it was like 1 a.m. or something, and we were in downtown Vegas. We weren't in uh, Paradise. Right. We were on the Strip. Um, mm. And uh, we were getting on the bus, and it was pretty packed. We were, going, we were taking the bus actually back to the Strip. And uh, this lady, she just she runs onto the bus, and then very loudly, she goes, He's got a gun! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, yeah, and everyone loses their fucking mind on the bus because... This lady comes in saying this guy's got a gun. We don't know who the guy is or anything. And uh, so we're on the bus, like, terrified because we're not moving. Like, everyone is just kind of quiet. We don't know what happened. And uh, eventually, the everyone, the doors close. And we hear from this other guy who's like, yeah, that was a police officer. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Just fucking with people? No, no she the, was just like drunk or something. Yeah, the cop had a gun. Oh, the cop had a gun. The cop had the gun. He was a fucking cop. Oh my god! This lady's freaking out over it. Scares everyone on the bus half to death. The it's just like, what were you thinking, lady? Thank yeah. you as well. I do like. It's weird sometimes, though. I like this is not meant to just be insulting to the U.S. at all. But it's weird sometimes when you like you're flying back from not America, and then you know the security guards are like, "Hey, we're security guards. Like, we'll still mess you up." Then you go to America and they're holding like you know AK-47s in the airport, and you're like, "Well, it's not AK-47s. You know what I yeah, mean?" I was gonna say, <laughs> they have yeah, like they have like tactical AK. rifles and stuff like that. And I'm like, "Good damn, dude." Well, that's I, not that's not common in the airport. Anymore. Yeah, no, you don't you don't see rifles. In yeah, the airport often. I just want. I tell buy, you what, like, though, when I was in Cheetos. Mexico, like in Mexico, like at the side of like all the roads, or at least in Cancun, when I went to Cancun. Um, it's like dudes with like big ass fucking M4s, and it's like, damn, like I don't really feel safer. I feel like less safe. Yeah. What is the size of a regular ass M4? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it, you know, it had all the all the things on it. The you know, accoutrement. The... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the M4 accoutrement. Did you guys do? Fucking love French words used yeah. in in like normal English language. Yeah, you would say that, you fucking Canadian. Yeah, nice. Yeah, uh, yeah why don't you say that to me in my foyer, you little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready for your ass. You know what I don't understand about French, and no one was ever able to explain it to me? What's what's the word for uh, breakfast, Fox? Dinner's dejeuner, right? Yeah. Dijon mustard? <laughs> That's a dejeuner. Well, what's what's uh, breakfast, no. though? I don't... Oh, golly. Did they ever <laughs> it's a it's a petit déjeuner. Brac breakfast. Oh, petit déjeuner. Yeah, a breakfast is like a little dinner. That's not what that word should translate to. Well, I mean, you have kind of you have savory <laughs> things at breakfast. You know, this makes sense, I guess, sorta. I love. Breakfast. Oh wait, no, it's it's little it's little lunch. Sorry, but little still. Lunch. Oh well, there you go, even better. But that still is not. Right. It doesn't make sense because breakfast is a very, it's like you're breaking a fast. It's a very important. Yeah. Moment. You slept for like, you know, however long you slept and now you're eating again. What do the French have for breakfast though? That's the question. That's you know, the question. some pan au chocolat. Croissant. Do they? Nice, nice coffee. You know? Yeah, coffee and a. Yeah, all right. Well, that makes sense. Smoking a pancake. Croissant. 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 Saw a video where they like, uh, they had kids eat what people from different countries eat for breakfast, and then the French one was like cornflakes, but instead of milk, they poured hot chocolate on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I was like, that's a little, 
slightly unusual, I guess. <laughs> it seems unusual to me. I don't even have milk on my cereal, though, so what I do know, I know? Like, we eat, like, do do chocolatey, that? sugary cereal. Wait, you, wait, do you exclusively eat cereal without Without milk, milk? yeah. We've been over this, like, once a no, week. Ryan does really? that. That's not that's a normal thing. Yeah, that's not weird. a Canadian thing. That's, that's, it's not just me, but it's, I'm in the minority, for sure. I mean, I do that sometimes, but not every time. Why, why? I don't like milk. Do you, you don't, don't like, like milk? milk? I don't like milk. Do you like milk-based products? Yes. Yeah, I was gonna say. But you then can't do, do that. Like That's milk? like when people are like, you know, I don't really like tomatoes. Do you like pizza? Yeah, like pizza is <laughs> freaking like bread, warm, and cheese. Yeah. Like that's, that's it. In my school lunch, like uh, in, <laughs> in like elementary school all the way through high school, like they would always serve every meal with milk yeah or chocolate milk those are the two options that yep. was very common why back it's in the day milk is a very filling thing right so when you don't have a lot to eat it's I'm... uh nah dog it's i'm telling you it's the fucking milk lobby they have so much power <laughs> they've they've I mean... like wormed with their propaganda they've wormed your way into like all of our brains to be like oh what do you feed like a kid to get strong bones you gotta be milk dude 100 percent like, you, your parents are, like, not worried about trans fats, saturated fats, you know, like, corn syrup. Instead, they're like, yeah. I hope he's got enough calcium for his bones. You think it's the 1940s? <laughs> calcium is, like, everywhere, dude. It's like worrying about how much fucking iodine is in the salt. <laughs> oh, you gotta go get that corn Obviously, now. Obviously, there's just, like, no... Yo, Austin, what's the soup du jour? What? You don't know what soup du jour is? No, I do not. Rob, do you know? Um, I know the term, but I don't really know What's exactly what it means. What's the fucking soup du jour, buddy? <laughs> is it soup of the day? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds oh, delicious. Okay. I'll have that. What is it, though? What, like, today, are you asking? Today's soup of the day? Yes. I don't know. New England clam chowder. All there right. you go. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Good one. Pa I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought it was weird, but for the first 13 years of my life, I had milk with every meal. Ugh. I there ah. I told you, dude. Like, big milk is like <laughs> they they are they scare the shit out of me like more than the mafia does. No, but big, <laughs> no big corn, big corn. Oh, dude. big big corn. Big corn. Too. Put that down. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. The, not the, I mean, not the name. <laughs> the, the the thing is, like, they they would serve like you know, it's like Chef Boyardee raviolis with fucking milk. Yeah. Who's gonna oh, wait? Die? What? Yeah, ravioli. well, like, you know, like the ravioli thing that you get at lunch. Red taco, uh, thank you. We would always, always get burgers. Always those steam, like those, again, those uh, yeah, yeah. aluminum yeah. foil wraps. Yeah. yeah, I liked them. I li I liked them. I think it's because, like, when you're a kid, you'll like anything. And then That's true. You, it's just kind of like a vestige into adulthood. Because I'm still, when I think back to those, I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Those I never liked those. Those $2 cafeteria burgers were pretty okay. But I Actually, know I they weren't. <laughs> no, I'm not, like, actually anti-milk. If you like drinking milk, that's no problem with me. I just, the fact that milk is pushed so hard is crazy to me. Like, yeah. there, I would, probably, like, 70% of North Americans think that milk is healthier than water. Which doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it's so hard. It's not easy. It's a tough level. Mouth is moonwalking. Um, do that. how do you... Okay. He's not doing it anymore. Uh, I oh, you're just riding the elevator that oh! I can't call. Oh, you guys don't <laughs> get the elevator? No, the elevator's no. broken. Yeah, you guys don't like, have you're the only one America? who has the elevator. Yeah. They don't do that here. Milk ain't pushed, dog. Are you fucking kidding no, me? No, that's... Go that, turn that, on it! That's how you know it's being pushed, because it's you've been brainwashed. Exactly. exactly drink yeah. milk, love life, drink milk, love... The fact that the milk brands don't wow. even compete with each other, they only openly compete with other drinks, tells me everything <laughs> I need to know. You never I mean, see a really milk company be like, milk? our milk is better than the other company's milk. They just <laughs> go like, our milk... Like, anybody's Probably milk gives like your kids company. super bones. Yeah, and like, the now song, I think about it... My, there's like a milk association, right? Because they have the Got Milk ads, which is yeah, just yeah, advertising. Yeah, Farmers of Ontario. Honestly, they're probably coming for us once this episode makes it up on YouTube. <laughs> this my, is the milkmen. They you know the song, my suits. milk brings all the boys to the yard. That is what they say in that they song. They do say that, Khalees, yeah. definitely part of Big Milk. Yeah, Khaleesi. I'm not anti-milk. If you like milk, that's fine. I just think we, we have an education. There's a propaganda problem with milk. I'm more to note, you know, like it's it's like 
you know, milk is really common in the West, but it's not like super common in other parts of the world. Really? Like, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, it's Are like, you oh god. Humans aren't really supposed to be drinking milk past the baby stage. I, kind of I really learned can. that as well from um, Snatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought like people when you if you had to come up with like the family feud answer for like what always ends up on your grocery list where is milk is number one or number two on the average grocery list yeah, right there's an app called don't forget the milk or remember the milk it's a list a grocery list app and milk well, to is be in fair the milk is used in cooking very frequently for, so. for cooking what the pastries and stuff. oh we'll do no, baking okay. maybe yo and yeah. as well it's the basis for Lots of All sauces, of, you know, yeah. cheese and I, I agree with that, but nobody's going butter. to the freaking Safeway buying milk and then making their own cheese out of it. That's... Uh, excuse me, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little ridiculous, in my opinion. You gotta make your own cheese curds. Do you ever fucking make cook? Make and pancakes. I cook all the time. I just don't make pancakes or freaking chocolate chip cookies every day. Apparently, that's like okay. sacrilege. Why not? I'm sure we've had this argument before. I had it with my chat a bunch, but like, why would you ever pick pancakes over waffles? I, I'm with situation? you still on well, that. Well, uh, I mean, mainly because like, you know, like waffles, you need a waffle iron, you know? Texture is very important Sweet. thing, and, and and the texture uh, of waffle is a hundred percent better than the texture of pancake. What do you I mean, they're two completely different things. One is a soft cake-like substance, and another is <laughs> is crispy and crunchy. They're both, you know, have a time and a place. I don't know why would you pick a waffle over a crepe. Crepe is more versatile. I like than both. I like them both, but there would be situations in which I would take a waffle over a crepe. Yeah, yeah, too. me too. It Chicken depends on your mood, you know. I've never had you a crepe. I've never even seen a crepe before. Really? Well, have you never gone to a fair in your life? No. <laughs> no Renaissance fairs, as we've established. <laughs> Kerbal Space Jesus uh, donated Ooh. five dollars. It says amuse bouche. Amuse bouche. Yeah, yeah, yeah you get the amuse bouche every once in a while. Well, it's not. It's, it's a term from haute cuisine. Mm -hmm. Which you wrote. I, I did write haute novel. cuisine. Rule number one, or as we call it, rule numero uh, is <laughs> you don't use milk in cooking. Is that true? Yep, that's rule numero un. Milk steak? Yeah, how could you do a, you know, buttermilk chicken without milk? Yeah, sure, but that doesn't mean it's used in cooking all the time. It oh is used God. in cooking oh. all no, the time. No, no, I, here, it is. This is a question. What's used in cooking more often, milk or wine? Milk. 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 That's yeah, wine. So much more wine what? or, like, no. absolutely. You're out no. of your mind. I mean, like, literally I, I was, any dessert is very, like, I don't eat dessert. Honestly, like, I was with you, but then if you're going to compare wine to milk, come on, dog. Yeah, you guys. better than that. You, you could say, you know, water is used more in cooking than milk. I would agree not with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> milk, Definitely milk, eggs, milk. and flour are the quintessential to How many cake-based products do you fuckers <laughs> eat on a daily basis? <laughs> How many wine-based yeah. things are you Yeah, doing? seriously. I don't like, know, it's probably like, like three to four if, a week. I have never eaten like chicken life. marsala every wine? day. Yeah, like what? what are you... I'm, I'm counting uh, sake in there as well. And I think, yeah, probably. Uh, sake to me, baby. Probably, uh, maybe not three to four times a week, but at least twice a week. I probably have a food with some kind of spirit in it. But that, really? that's not wine, though. I would, well, it's, about wine. sake is, I'm, I'm lumping it in with wine, maybe you It's would, a rice wine. I, you know, I kind of think it counts, but I'll, I'll acquiesce that maybe it does not. <laughs> I mean, what, actually, what, what is cooked with sake? I actually don't know. It's, uh, it, basically, in Japanese recipes, it's used where, like, a white wine would be in French cuisine. Ah, I wow. see. So you, are you fucking <laughs> <of> tequila? <laughs> You'd use it to, like, you know, deglaze a pan to... Start a sauce right, or something okay. like that, or yeah. yeah. It's not alcoholic to cook with wine. This is yeah. It, <laughs> it's no, literally no, chat. No. As soon as it starts boiling, all the alcohol is gone. <laughs> Apparently chat. that's a myth. Actually, you, Apparently it doesn't cook me. out like that. Yeah, but you Does pour like like a third of a glass of wine into a pan and then heat it up for like 15 minutes and then have two people yeah. eat it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah, it's gonna yeah. I mean, there's gonna be a good portion of it that cooks out shortly. I don't think I've ever consumed a meal and been like, man, this chicken's getting me drunk. I don't think I've ever made a myth? meal and been Dude. like, man, this would have been better if I cooked it with some wine. What? You should talk to some freaking chefs then, Mouth. Uh, Why yo, are they I cooking the wine and they throw it okay. in there just for prestige? I've got two cooking streams under my belt, guy. <laughs> All right? I have 300 confirmed kills. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, lordy. Is he assuming that everybody does Japanese recipes twice a week? No. Yeah. I'm saying, you know. They so, should. They, yeah, exactly. That's that's what I was getting at. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Mediocre donated $5 and says the brand Kiko Man right. uh, makes their soy yeah, sauce, soy sauce yeah. different for different parts of the world based on how much milk the culture drinks. Really? Oh, that's very wow. interesting. That is, you know what? I appreciate that business practice. They're like kind of like yeah. the McDonald's of soy sauce, right? They, They're they kind add... of the only soy sauce I buy. Are there other soy there's, sauce? There's also oh, yeah. Yamasa. Yeah, is it better? I don't know. It's all. Let's be honest. I'm pretty white. <laughs> like I, I've consumed a decent amount of soy sauce in my day, but uh, Kate is like, we, like if we go to the Korean grocery store here, she's like. We need two different kinds of soy sauce. We need the normal soy sauce, and then there's like a soy sauce that's specifically used for soups. And I'm like, all right, I'll take your word for it, but <laughs> it's it's all the same to me. For her, it's like when I talk about bread. I'm like, no, you can't get that bread. That bread's not right. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I see I see what you're saying there. Honestly, there's certain breads for certain you know you know missions. Exactly. It's not like not all breads are are created equal. They're not. They've got different purposes and. Some of them have no purpose, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, like Wonder Bread. You know what? Fuck this. I'm fitting the vine. Oh. I think there is there is one purpose for Wonder Bread, and that's for like a, a couple times a year. Well, first off, the other purpose is that it's oftentimes very cheap. But yeah, the, the other one would be once a year, like a Kraft Singles Wonder Bread grilled cheese. Oh, actually, hey. I think okay, maybe I'm crazy, but I actually think for grilled cheese, Wonder Bread Don't. is the only option. Don't uh, but you can get, rob. Like, okay, you know what? You know what just happened right Jesus. there? In like, <laughs> time slowed down, and I lost seventy-five, no, sixty-nine percent respect for you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bread do you use for a grilled cheese, though? You can get like just any type of loaf and slice it up uh, to your preferred. Well, type. not any type of loaf, well, yeah, if you know what I mean. Loaf, but... but like a tradition, like a traditional white. I mean, I'm, I'm talking really more about like a Pullman loaf. It doesn't necessarily have to be Wonder Bread, but like a Pullman loaf. No, you know? that's that's totally valid. I mean, I oh, particularly I would be against uh, Wonder Bread brand unless it's really your only option. But yeah, I don't really have Wonder Bread ever i ate a lot uh, yeah. of it in college when like the grocery store near our house had wonder bread that was like four loaves for two dollars that's oh, fucking god that's yeah, like four like... cents per slice that yeah. is a that's a smoking deal yeah. how do they even make it for that like who's making this bread i don't understand <laughs> they need to unionize man bread is actually very cheap to make like that's true i, I, I want to do the math um on how much money I saved or how much it cost, because back, especially when I lived in Saskatchewan, we were making like that special no need ciabatta shit every other day. Yeah, and it's better than <gasps> most breads I buy. Whoa! <laughs> and it's cheap and delicious. It's like a bag of flour. It takes like two cups total or something. Yeah, but and... the, it's yeah. like it is cheap. Wow. And it's not a lot of work, but it isn't like an instant solution, and that's I think where the problem comes in. Because you're yeah. like, sometimes you're like, I need bread in an hour. Now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some breads that you just simply like. It, it, it's it's not practical to make. Like baguette is like it's right. Just, okay. It's, it's not practical to make Wait, a baguette at home. You're not subscribed to r slash breadit. <laughs> <laughs> my parents actually like as as a hobby they make a bunch of bread but they'll make like you know six loaves one weekend and then they'll freeze five of them and then just take them out right. as necessary but you know i i've been there during the bread making process and i'm like the bread is actually really good it turns out awesomely but is yeah. it as awesome as not spending all this yeah. time making bread because like you can go to you do it a couple times you don't it's not really that the first few times you're like, okay, you know, measure this out. What what's the recipe again? Yada yada yada. Yeah, but you can but go to like is... a good bakery. And you can get a good yeah. loaf of bread for under five dollars Canadian yeah. at least. Yeah, even oh, yeah. even less than that, I'm sure. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's a place right like by. Me. Good... But good like, if you if you actually enjoy making the bread, I totally understand. But as someone who does not, I'm like, well. Like, I don't get any value out of the experience, so I just find it a little tedious. It, it is a somewhat laborious process, too, because you gotta, like, 
like, like, well, maybe not laborious, but time consuming. Because you gotta, like, wait for the, the dough to rise, yeah. like, twice. And <laughs> Dota. That's, yeah, that's the thing. You need to, you need to kind of have the, the like, hey, schedule down, is... depending on the bread. My one just doesn't give a fuck about bread. Like, I, don't, I very rarely have bad bread wherever I go. If I, if I gave like, you, like, a nice, crusty, like... It's got a little chew to it, even a little bit of sourness in the bread, and then gave you a little Ooh, limp dough. slice of Wonder Bread. You pick it up by one corner, and the whole thing just wraps around your hand because it's got no structural yeah. integrity. You're gonna be like, you know, eh, whichever one you want to give me is fine. <laughs> Can I say I'm gonna, the sourdough is the worst thing ever created? Oh possibly. please! What? What? It's oh. like, oh, I have this nice bread. What? What do we make it better? I don't know. Let's just make it taste bad. <laughs> no, okay. Let's make it taste bad. That'll Sourdough be great. Sourdough is a great bread, f actually, for grilled cheeses. It really, yeah. you, you get the butter going, you get oh, a nice, yeah. um, good crispiness, and it goes well with the, the, you know, certain cheeses. It's so good. Yeah, it is. I've, I've had sourdough, uh, you know what's good, too? You guys ever have challa? Oh, yeah. Challa is dope. Dude, I, uh, that is a bread there. If you make it in your house, I'm like, you're actually a god. Because it's, isn't that the one where you have to like braid the, the yeah. dough yeah, around itself? Yeah. And that, that, at that point, I'm like, no. <laughs> like, it, I don't even, I, I would feel bad going to somebody else's house and eating that bread, knowing how much time <laughs> it took to make it. I kind of want to, you know what I want to make is I want to make bagels, but th that's, that's kind of a weird process too. Dude, you like oh, boil you them first and bagel. then, yeah, yeah you, you make the dough and then you boil it and then you bake it. I that's had a bagel weird. today. Poppy seed bagels twisted, are baby. fantastic. I'm, I'm very pro bagel. Yeah, yeah bagels are the be best, like, man. Nice and you, buttery. You want to be. Do it Montreal style, though. Um, nah, you want it New York style. You do the, the, the brining in the in the honey water. <laughs> oh, no, no, I honey see. water, and then you gotta cook <laughs> them in a wood oven. I want to go to North America, but I've heard the tea, the bread, and the cheese are terrible. As an Englishman, Ooh. is this true? It uh, depends where you are and what you're willing to pay for it. I Come guess. to Toronto. Yeah, all that there's good every shit. kind of food you could ever imagine in America. In, in New York City, like literally every cuisine on Earth exists Ooh. here in this city. So, like you can Same get yep. world class uh, in every single variety there. Right. The, the basic brand might be a little bit less than you're used to. Like I don't know. Wait, what do you what do you drink for tea in England? What's the biggest brand? Like, Twining. Probably Earl Grey. Twinings? What's, what's Twinings? the biggest tea brand in the U.S.? Lipton. That's yeah, Lipton. Tea. Lipton's pretty yeah. gross. And that's gross. That's yeah. like... Yeah, Lipton's gross. Drinking Lipton's a not gross. Something. Like, it's just average, right? It's like one of those brands, eh. right? It's, no, it's like, um... Oh, golly, what's that one Belgian beer? Stella Artois, right? Mm. You're like, ooh, fancy. But you go to Belgium and it's like, that's their trash beer right. for the most part. Oh, right? my God. That's kind of the way, you know, most of those mainstream things are people like, ooh, the most famous tea in Britain. It's also, yeah, but it's because it's so heavily mass produced. It's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not great. Yo, I, people keep saying PG tips. That must be yeah, so tips. English that I've never even heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard of that. I never heard of that either. Is it twinnings or twinnings? It's like no, tw it's twinnings. It twinnings. There's twinnings? two ends. We yeah, there's two ends. If I if I'm having tea and there's some twinnings available, I'm like, yeah, I'm in. I, yeah. I think I've got some right over there. I got some twinnings green tea. I've also got some red rose orange. Stella is the beat your wife beer in the UK. <laughs> First off, I don't yeah, know if apparently. I support that level of that <laughs> that kind of addiction. But it's so funny because what what Stella is here is like. Well, I just Fancy. got my summer internship so I can afford to go up like two dollars per pint. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the commercials for oh. Stella? It's like Stella Atua. It's yeah. Like all these fancy dudes in like some 40s yeah, like, bar. Guy it's wearing kind of like an eight thousand dollars suit like pulls out a forty carat diamond to propose <laughs> to his girlfriend, and then the bartender they always like have the the knife like the Stella Artois knife that they mm -hmm. use to slice the foam off the top of the pint. Yeah. It's so yeah. funny. Yeah. Well, you know that that's like actually true in other places too. Like the um, the like Budweiser in other countries is like it. You know, it counts as an import. Like when people think of American beer, they yeah. think of Budweiser, which is that's, sad that's because awful. yeah, because like America actually does have good beers. It's Peyton Manning's favorite oh, beer. Craft beer. Then again, beer yeah. is a conspiracy, and it's actually garbage. No, you, this is like. <laughs> You have okay, to choose you know. either beer or sourdough bread to ascend to true adulthood <laughs> at some point. 
<laughs> this stream and last stream, I was watching you guys last night too, and you're fucking pissing me off, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> and your subway order, I just can't get over that. What oh, the subway order? Chicken <laughs> bacon <laughs> ranch on oh, flatbread. Yeah. On fucking Hold the ranch. Yoga mat. <laughs> the cheese, dog. Don't even. Oh, yoga mat God. bread. Come on. The driest sandwich. It's not dry. The cheese, dude. What is? Why do you guys understand? It's about this? as dry it is, it as. It has creaminess, not moisture, dog. Oh, what is all okay. There's a difference. Add there creaminess, is a not difference. moisture. Yeah. Oh, I bet you dunk your sandwich in water. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the ranch. There was an uh, NLSS circle jerk post where it was like Austin's yeah, Sunday I... order and it was a piece of white bread. <laughs> Got him. It was a, it was a single slice yeah, of white bread. Yeah, because the fucking Southwest sauce and meatball. That's the fucking pinnacle of Subway right there. Well, I'd still... Jury's out on that one, million. as far as I'm concerned. Also, apparently um, it's it's twinings? Yeah, oh. Jess actually just told me that she says twinings, so... I, at this point, I think you have Angle to accept land. if they're from there, yeah. Then. Yeah, she's yeah. from the land of the Angles. Oh, I'm fuck. I'm gonna go with tea wings. NL, how would you make a cup of tea? Honestly, like, I'm... I, I drink, like, the Coors Light of tea. I'm not an established tea drinker. Yeah. We have these tea, mugs yeah. that have, like, a, a metal, like, grate thing that you leave in the hot water with the tea inside of it. You steep it for a few minutes, pull it out. That's that's how oh, I have tea. That Yo, that's second ah, tier, dude. That's like, second I didn't even tier? know that... I didn't even know that was a higher tier, cause like my my I'm even lower tier than that. I just put the bag in. Right, you just put the bag <laughs> in and then dip it up and down a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've been there. I like, do they I'm have a, a tier Dave, one tea drinker? Do they have David's tea out in Vancouver yet? Oh, what, what you, yet? <laughs> well, I don't it's know. It's been here for like ask. eight years. You don't have Uber Eats, and you don't well, have... we don't have Uber. That's because of the, that's all politics, man. It's all yeah, fucking whatever. politics. No, nobody's saying, oh, don't let David's tea come here. The, the tea sales Maybe are gonna put us out of a job. Of market there, you know. Toronto's very diverse. A lot of people. Drink Vancouver tea. is extremely diverse, Mel. Uh, not with nearly as many different cultures as Toronto. Wow. Yeah, you've got all the drugs Ooh, wow. there in Vancouver. We do. <laughs> We're also the only city in Canada where the majority of the population doesn't speak English as a first language. Yeah, but that doesn't mean there's a, a plethora of different cultures. That could just be, like, French. one or two cultures. Yeah, yeah, it could just be a bunch of French people. It's not, though. The, the, the <laughs> tea argument French. makes no sense. I, okay, <laughs> the people whatever. who come to Vancouver largely are from countries where tea is commonly consumed. 